Today's two Nigerians group opener in the AFCON 2025 qualifiers opinions have been flying in on the expectations from the Super Eagles. Former players, coaches and fans have been speaking on their expectations ahead of the Super Eagles match against the um, Chatters of Bena Republic this Saturday. They expressed their belief that the players can get a victory on match day one of the 2025 AFCON qualifiers in Uyo. What happened when we were in the last game? We don't need to lie to ourselves. There's a small crisis inside between the team. And then now, so I can see everybody's back now. Echo is back. I will tell people in Africa game, we need an experienced player that's already know how to play Africa. So we should know that our one Nigeria boy is trying, one Nigeria player is playing well in Europe, and they never come to Africa. African football is different with the, we are going to World Cup. Nations Cup is different with, we are going to World Cup. Now, Echo is back. Which is experienced player. And Ulisa uh, Osime is back. In Wuyo, we lack many goals. But now you can see everybody is back. When I saw the squad, I believe that our home and away game, we are winning. No shaking about that. We give totally six points. It's not by mouth. Go and check the rate our player is playing in, uh, in the club side. We believe at this time around, we are coming back to our winning way. Inshallah. Nobody expected it. And I think now is. I open up for all of us. We need to work very, I mean, very hard. So no country is pushed over again. And you know that any country that want to play Nigeria, they will do extra because we're a giant of Africa, as we always said. So we just need to do everything possible best, especially the player need to come out. The NFL need to support them, and we need the two, two game. We need the two game. So I, I, I root for them. I believe in in Nigeria spirit. You know, we don't give up. So. I think we can qualify. Yeah. They, they do bring in two, not, not, uh, they bring in one for them, one uh, indigenous player to not, I don't think, I, I don't think it's enough. There's not a one any honors in this country that have not involved our indigenous coach players. Look, South Africa, one nation's cup, with how many foreign base, about three, four for the uh, home base. And we did so well. So the, the idea of not trying to invite, might invite only one indigenous player, one uh, home base. I think it's not enough. There are some wins in this country that, that are owned by the indigenous players, like the fullbacks, like the yeah, defensive midfielders. We have good players. From that area in Nigeria, but they are bringing the foreign, the foreign base good. They should bring the ones that are ready to play because our boys are some laughing our boys now. Some, some will be in Nigeria, they will tell you they are, they are not there. I don't think they are not really bringing their mind to play. Well, like when, we, when we are playing, it was we were not thinking of anything coming in. We are thinking of what we want to give. The passion is enough to play. I don't, I don't think we this we have that in their blood. I think maybe because they are rich, but not like other countries like two South Americans. They come to play with their hearts to their country. But our, our boys, I think they are not giving enough. They should give more. We know, we know they are we don't need to tell them what they should do. But I think they are not still bringing enough to give what we deserve we needed. Well, I think, sincerely speaking, if the boys decide to go all out to win the game, they will win. And I think they've been talking good now. In the recent time, we were hearing he did it, talking about us winning the game. We had a uh, will be also. And I think if these boys, they want to really, you know, play the game because they are talented, they have the, the skills. They have the they, they, they know with how to go about doing their job best. So I, I don't have any doubt. I know Ben and too, uh, having Coach General Troy with them, is, they, they are a good team because we have met before now and we all knew what the result I mean, was. But that notwithstanding, that should be a motivation for our boys now to go there and prove that they can do it. And I believe they will do it. Thank you very much, uh, Coach Fatah Amaro, for talking to Afro Sport. Don't forget you can watch all the actions from the 2025 AFCON qualifiers between Nigeria and Berlin Republic this Saturday and when the Super Eagles meet Rwanda next Tuesday on Afrosport TV.